Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Sar Salt Sart Shaker Trio. Sart Shaker Trio. It's getting philosophical yeah. today. The the Shart Shaker. Oh, fuck. Oh. I already fucked it up. I don't care. <laughs> welcome uh, back. Hi, guys. I'm at the seashore. Just yeah. Sart Shaker Trio. All right, no more intro. Just go. All right. It's well, Jordan and Kim. Jordan, Kim, and Kyle are here. We're going to start a new file on Binding of Isaac that I'm going to put on file three because I'm a bastard. Uh, so we're going to do a normal run because I have to do all of these things. So, Magdalene, you need seven heart containers. That's red hearts. Okay. Uh, Kane, you gotta have 55 pennies. Judas, I forget how to unlock. Eve is not taking damage for two levels. So, and you can... There are missing characters on here. Are you sure you want me to die? So we just start a new file and, you know, just work our way through the game. Maybe you won't uh, just breeze through with the laser... No, I probably won't. Um, wow. Well, what you can see, too, is I don't have the D6 to start off with. So, um, but we're going to start. Our first item was Midas Touch, uh, which, if you know anything about the story, should be kind of obvious what it does. So if an enemy touches you, they turn to gold, right? Yep. And then when I kill them, they become coins. Oh, that's pretty rad. Why don't you do that? Because um, damage, I imagine? Yeah, because I want to try and unlock characters as soon as possible. So, I'm going to try and not take damage for the first two floors. Motherfucker. Oh, <laughs> he even got a troll face. It had to be you. <laughs> um, but starting a new starting a new file also, for the sake of viewers, makes less insanity that I need to explain all at the same time. See, this is how you're supposed to do it, where you just break one piece at a time. Unlike what I did on that first run. I believe in you, Kyle. Even though it's not full-fledged turbo envy this time well, or whatever. Well, this is just regular envy. Um, so there's super envy breaks into more parts and has more health. And I think moves faster. He seems to move faster. Regular envy is not too bad. I don't even know if he can drop uh, shoot to whoop yet. Because I don't know if that's a base item or if you have to unlock that. Well, he dropped a troll bomb, so fuck us. That was nice of him. That troll bomb. Uh, so this has to be our secret room. It'd be really funny if it wasn't. Well, it so secret rooms are always flanked by at least two rooms, mm. and uh, can't connect to boss rooms. So this has to be our super secret room. Wow! Look at you. Wow! These rooms suck. All right. Well, that guy's fun right there. So that's actually a really good starting item for us. Um. Skeleton key? Yeah. Uh, it's a golden key. Uh, so we picked up Dark Bum, and he's going to be our really good friend. He wants to take your life. If you give him enough red hearts, he drops your spirit hearts. Oh. Hey. Look at uh, that. Golden key is infinite keys for the first floor. So, you guys may remember the item room being a little larger. Yeah. We have to earn that larger room Okay. by donating money. You can see it's at zero. Um, we have to build that up to 999. Uh-oh. <laughs> you did that. Wow. I've done that twice over because every, every... if you hit a thousand uh, coins in the donation machine, it explodes and you go back to zero. So on the other file where I'm at like 800-something coins... Damn it. Oh, well. Oh, that's cool to stay frozen, too. Uh, not forever, but they do for a while. This is Haunt. Um, we're going to see a lot of Haunt. Over the course of these runs, the course of this game. Ooh, lasers. Uh, he's really annoying as one or two of the particular characters who either aren't, oh. don't have fast moving speed, or have very low health. Uh, because as you can see, the brimstone laser touches the whole screen. This this feels like more of a traditional boss. Uh, he is. For one of the characters in one of the previous versions, he is the worst boss to fight in the game. Really? Yes, because the that you on he really only shows up on the first floor. So, all right, well we got Squeezy, which you guys have seen before, but you can already see tell I'm shooting faster. Oh, but we unlock go. Lazarus, whose unlock condition must have been something about spirit hearts. Well, there you go. <clears throat> well, Lazarus came back from the dead. So, yes, uh, and Lazarus is a character which I can show you guys later, but he starts with a respawn. Oh. So he's like um, Ra's al Ghul. 
That's why he used the Lazarus Pits. Um, the Batman. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, so I want to see our Devil Deal, so I'm not going... Oh, look, that's totally useless for us. So I'm not going to give him any health. Because the... The Heart Beggars will always take from your Red Heart Pool first. Oh, well that was. You already have come across Red Poop. Yeah. Which is basically just Cancer Poop. Is it? Uh, well, deep red blood in your stool tends to denote that you have, or possibly have, cancer. Oh. Yeah. Bright red blood in your stool, like fresh blood. Fun fact, this is all really charming, and I hope you're all enjoying this, is uh, hemorrhoids. Cool. Or you cut your butt on something. Ugh. God <laughs> help you. Lemon party. <laughs> no, this is a really old game. Uh, well, I mean, any game that has memes as jokes is gonna have one or two, like, you know, not Ancient great ones. memes? Yeah. Well, the thing is, though, Lemon Party's ancient. Shoop de Whoop is ancient. Like, if there are any of the children Yeah, and the, the this, people that made this game probably aren't too much older than us, so their formative years on the internet would have also been around the same time ours were. See, they need a good picture of the Cockmonger in here. Oh, that's what they God. need. Cockmonger was the best meme hands down my favorite i don't know what that is and i don't want to learn that, yeah that sounds really awful you don't remember cockmongler no it's not it's actually not terrible it's just a picture of this male model and he just he he's buff and he has his arms like this and he's wearing a t-rex shirt and he's smiling really big and horrifying they used to call him grin man as well but yeah cockmongler was the name he became known by uh later because he'd mongle your cock <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> said, you know, don't just don't question it. So we we picked up technology, which is laser tears. I like it. Uh, this is little horn. I really need to stop skipping the boss intro seasons. Yeah, it, it's just a thing that I do all the time habit. now. Yeah, just, once you play the game enough, you're just like, yeah, get you know, like any it. like any game you guys play a bunch that has skippable anything, you just eventually learn to. I I just like the fact that. We were complaining that you had this weapon that hit the whole screen last time. Yeah, <laughs> but <laughs> this but, one's nowhere near as good. Yeah. So Monster's Tooth has appeared in the basement, which it's always going to say appeared in the basement, but it just means you unlock that item. Uh, growth Hormones. Yay. Oh, mm. <laughs> he looks so ugly. What? What's not to love about this face? Uh. Um, I don't like... <sighs> we'll take it. I don't like Sister Maggie. She's kind of weak. She just follows you around and shoots. But on a new file, in order to get to the higher stages of the game, you actually have to unlock every... You have to use every item. Is is all of these dreams just him, like, having, like, mundane situations that are... Oh, no, those those in-between... Which I also need to stop skipping. Yeah, those, I was about to say. Those in-between stage things are things that have happened to Isaac. So he ran out of toilet paper? Yeah, there, there's a follow-up thing to it, but obviously uh, we didn't falls see in the it. toilet, and, and I forget dies. what it is. No, they're not. All, he's not Kenny from South Park. He doesn't just keep dying. Man, these normal runs give you like a lot of health. Yeah, I, I've noticed you're, you're doing pretty good there. Well, there just there becomes a point in the game where there's no real reason to play normal runs anymore, other than you just want to. If you just want something nice and easy, yeah. No. Did we even see these guys? Probably not. Fat flies. Oh. That explode into leeches. I don't think so. If we did, you just annihilated them with a laser. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. probably just walking. Yeah. He's like, oh, it's an enemy? Well, actually, I didn't see any enemy there. It's just a red stream of death. <laughs> just, just fucking red mist. Yeah, these normal runs also... You can kind of tell aren't like the most heavy when it comes to enemies yeah oh actually i have another point i can make about not seeing those enemies before hmm. like maybe you saw the enemy in the last run maybe you didn't it's like maybe that rabbit was there like you guys said maybe they were <laughs> there, th i'm pretty sure that rabbit except was there, that the rabbit was definitely there. i don't think the rabbits were there that was a paper bag i'm uh, <laughs> a paper bag full of guts oh no miss yeah that that's right my stand is the lock, and I'm trying to use it on you <laughs> with this rabbit. 
Oh god. <laughs> Look, there were no rabbits on the road, okay? That would be a really elaborate stand setup. You have to put a fucking bag on a freeway and hope that Kim hits it at the exact moment. And I have to spend an entire day with you guys. You know what though? I bet it happens. Hey all those people out there who watch this and watch JoJo's. Does anyone take an entire day and hang out with them and then set up a stand thing? I probably. Maybe. It's gotta happen. Stand name Puddle of Puddle of Mud. The most powerful stand. Yep. Um so you guys may have noticed also one thing I didn't mention is item rooms cost a key to get into, except for on the first floor. Your first item room is free. Uh, so this is a reroll machine, which I'll show. You can either put money into, which I'm trying to save to unlock Kane, or you can blow it up, and you can change your item, just like the D6. But we're going to take Stigmata, because it's a damage up. Okay, I'm trying, trying to see if you got the Stigmata thingies. Well, it's, like, every item does, every passive item it does, does like a visual change Ida. Yeah, it will change Isaac's um, appearance. Because stigmata should be that you're bleeding right. out from the hands and feet. Yeah. Well, there's Wheel of Fortune. Uh, you can put money into that to get, hopefully, get stuff. But I'm not gonna get it. Oh it's my god, you did it again. Yeah, I'm sorry. Just remind me before boss rooms, like, don't skip things. So this is Gertie. Once you know patterns, he's, you know, not a difficult boss. Especially with technology tiers, you get piercing. So I can hit multiple enemies at once. You melted this boss the last run. <laughs> yeah, we literally yeah. watched you go, you're like, it's Gertie, brrrr, <laughs> <laughs> It's like, wow, it's really nice to see how the boss is functioning. Well, to be fair, when stuff shows up on the chest, usually you're either overpowered and you run through it like I did. Or you suffer. Or you suffer. Uh, this is Binky. It will decrease my player model and let me shoot faster. And it gives you health, but I'm at full health, so. Oh, well, <laughs> you skipped it again. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I'm sorry. I'm trying, I'll... <laughs> it's, it's just funny at this point. We'll see. We'll, we'll roll the dice. We'll see if he gives us anything. We really are rolling the dice. Well, he gave us Gimpy, which is sweet suffering. So what does it do? Um, oh, oh my right. god! No, I was trying to do red heart damage, but I'm done. So, uh, Gimpy, every time you get hit, you have a chance of dropping a spirit heart, and your chances are based on your luck stat. Oh, wow! Man, the enemy designs in this game are so disgusting. Yep. They really are. You know, I, I was. Thinking about it the other day, this would be a very, very disturbing game if it had a different art style. Yes. Yes, it would. And I was about to say, like, it is remarkable to me that this game has the following that it does. Like, could you imagine this game even having close to this following in a different art style? No. Well, it's also an extremely well-designed game. Oh, no. It is, as far as gameplay, like, you can tell, like, it's, it's a great game. But this... This this art design and like the themes and stuff like it's it should either like semi disturb you if you know what it is it's like look at, look at this stuff there's that two-headed guy there's a body just walking around on its own there's a lot of religion going on too. could you imagine if this game was done in the re7 style oh, god yeah this would be a, a horror show if an army isn't, but still. Like, it's it's just, just great. <laughs> uh, one thing I don't know if I pointed out in the last run is that every run is different because the game is procedurally... Or not procedurally, but every time the game... Reboots. You start a new run, it randomizes everything that's going to happen. Like Diablo. Yeah, kind of like Diablo. Which is pertinent because this game's about demons and shit. Mm -hmm. well, like literally check. demons and shit. Uh, da -da 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 -da. So you can see that's an item on sale, that's a flashlight, but I'm trying to save 55 cents. So you can unlock. Kane. So I can unlock Kane, yeah. And then I'm just gonna go on a spending spree pretty much every time. Unless I have a powerful... Actually, with this run, I would probably donate money because it's a pretty good run as it stands. Pew, 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 pew. Fuck you, bats. Oh. 
You know what? There. I'll get 55 cents. I'll force the game to give me 55 cents. <laughs> what do you have that's giving you that? Oh, my gosh. Touch. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, there can be chests in other chests. So, little watch battery is useless for me since I don't have an active item. So, we're going to keep Goat Hoof, which is like the third best item in the game anyway. So, or third best trinket. Oh, it's a boss. I was going to say, let him hate me. Yeah, it's a mini boss. It's Lust. Speed. Yeah, you're Sonic now. Speedy speed boy. Da, 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 da. You, it's Golden Poo. Oh my god. No, we're unlocking Kane. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> there you go. Now I'm going to go buy that item. <laughs> there you go. I'll buy the item to show it off. Um, also because... We're not probably not going to get that curse on normal runs. Also, curses don't happen as much. Well, but it's a nightlight. There's a curse. It's called. Oh well, thanks donation machine. It broke. Yeah, it. They'll break after a certain number of donate. But on normal, it's supposed to have less of a chance to break than on hard. <laughs> the first one. <laughs> the ah, look at you. You didn't exit. The other thing about the flashlight is it slows stuff down when you have it touched. It won't slow bosses, but it will slow other enemies down. Oh my which god. Which I made way harder for myself by, like, slowing down random shit. I was about to say, like, this son of a bitch. No, this boss isn't that difficult, um, but I slowed down his tears, so it made it, or his shots. Little chubby. Yep. A chub of your very own. Oh uh, we're going to take the belt, because it's another speed up, so I am getting faster. Gotta go fear. Uh, well, there's Ghost Baby, which is a thing. And we'll take him. Oh, sorry, that's Brother Bobby. Oh, there you go. Oh, we unlocked Azazel. I don't know what the qualifications were for that, but it might be just taking Devil Deal items. Uh, the I would mark, assume. the mark increases your damage and uh, gives you nope. one spirit heart. Skipped it. Oh, damn it! I, I was good about the boss one. Yeah, you were. You. you um, you that's got okay it. though. There are fewer of those in between stage things than there are other stuff. So, uh, two of diamonds is a money multiplier. So now we're at ninety nine cents. We're at the cap. Money, money, money. Awesome. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look! It's Cursed Eye. Actually, no. I think I can pick up Cursed Eye because I don't think it overlaps with technology. Sweet. Okay. So Cursed Eye is a really shitty item, which I promise I'll show you guys for real at some point. Um, you, it charges your shots. Oh, he was still alive. Um, it uh, it's uh, the vaginas. Uh, yeah. Oh my. It charges your shots, um, and you can fire, I think it's five of your tiers at once. But if you get hit at any point during... Oh yeah. That drags you in. Um, if you get hit at any point during the charge, it teleports you to a random room. And if you don't finish a room when you by the time you leave it, you have to redo it when it comes back. Oh, oh When God. you go back to it. Which is super fun for boss fights late in the game. Uh, so this is Pride. Pride is easy, you just don't stand on diagonals when you fight him. Oh. Oh god, does anyone remember the Anarchist book? I certainly I don't. never read it. I never read it either, but it's just... It's one of those things that was really infamous for a while. Yeah, it's not a great item, but it's better than having no item. True. So... I here's what it does. Oh god. Then drop the ball. Yeah. I actually should, if I don't take dumb damage, should be able to unlock Eve. Oh wait, I took damage on this floor like an idiot because I walked over spikes, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Yep, sure did. Mm -hmm. Didn't find the item or the shop, huh? <laughs> Now we're all just making horrifying body noises. It's That's only you, Georgia. It's, no, it's, it's, it's everybody. Okay, so I can't touch the creep, which makes rooms like that potentially very annoying. Uh, yeah, we'll take magic fingers over. Pain of play. Yeah. 
Oh, you can go... Oh, wait, it's still broken? Yeah, it, it'll be broken for the rest of the run. So wow. I'm, I'm going to buy the key. I'm going to buy the converter. So I'll use it once to show you guys. You sacrifice uh, Spirit Heart for Red Hearts. Oh. Hey, that's pretty good. Uh, mm, yeah, not really. It's not bad, but there's... It's it's basically the opposite of Guppy's Paw, which I showed you guys before. True. Oh, Loki. You can skip this one. I know. Now you're gonna skip the story thing again. Maybe. So I used my card. It's the Empress. Um, it's the face. It increases. To, oh yeah, it is. Um, I know. I know you'd like that about this game, Jordan. Yeah, you can, I'm just gonna tell you each one. Well, some of them. I Actually, you know what I can do? Kill me? No, I'm going to just to unlock Maggie. Is I'm last... just gonna use the converter. To get seven hearts. The last game you looked... I don't know why he blew up. What the fuck? Oh, what happened? I don't know. Did you use pay to play? Oh, oh I can't, can't use it again. Interesting. The last... Um, yeah, well, pay to play, if you spend... Or for magic fingers, if you spend, you do AoE damage for every penny you spend. Hmm. Which I can show you guys on a boss. The last game you looked like tiny... Yup, you skipped it. Last game you... <laughs> <laughs> well, because we're early on in the game, this is actually the last floor. Um, but the last game, you look like Satan. And this game, you look like a 1980s mutant laser firing guy. So there you go. I'm a fire my laser. You're, you're a bad guy from Robocop. No, I'm a bad guy from Space Cop. Oh, God. Space Cop. <laughs> All these lasers. Oh. See, all those classic cop movies, you know? Oh! So this is a boss. This is probably the easiest boss in the game. Um, he's on the first floor, predominantly. Uh, his name is Pin. He has almost no health. He's multi-segmented. So at this point in the game, they just go, why not give you three? Because if you can't beat three of him at this point... Uh, your run sucks. <laughs> Look at you. So here's Lemon Mishap. Oh. You can use it every two rooms, and if people walk over, they hurt themselves. Uh, this trinket is annoying. Um, Mom's foot will stomp down every 60 seconds. Uh, randomly. Good lord. <laughs> <laughs> so that's pay to play. <laughs> That's that's actually hilarious. Uh, this is an arcade. These can randomly be generated um, for every... If you have five cents going into a floor. These are things I don't normally do, but... Hey, fuck you, buddy. Since you can't donate. Uh, well, no. Since there are items associated with these things that we need to happen like so in the slot machine here there's a dollar bill that we have to unlock at some point oh god really <laughs> yeah and he has one or two items that you can only get through him as well by playing the shitty con job yeah the shell shuffle or whatever it's called but my luck stat isn't very good right now so it might be better to just oh no I can keep playing just to give dark bum to give me more health. Oh, well, there we go. Here's Katol. Gives us fly love. You can see, I have now shit on my head. You're <laughs> shit head. Yep. <laughs> have fun. Um, I forget what Katol does. Uh, maybe... It makes the flies not enemies to you, I think. So they become your companions instead. Yeah, you know what? That's probable. That other item, or that other thing in the room is a uh, blood bank. You can donate half a heart uh, for one penny. There are also two items associated in there that we will have to get at some point. But... Oh, well, here's one of them. It's IV bag. It's portable blood bank. Oh. You can do that to yourself whenever you want. Pay to play. You have the weirdest set of items. 
Wait, no. Um, there is an item in the game that will make you eat your words on that later. But... Well, I'm sure, but it's just like, this is such a, a strange set. Yeah. Like, I'm sure there are all kinds of ridiculous, ridiculous items everywhere. <laughs> I got tired of it. Mash to win. Yep. <laughs> What's funny on the, the PS4 controller is the button you have to mash is L2. Oh god. Sure, what's in here? Oh good, on the last floor I got the item that lets me get to all the double deals. Well, I'm not picking either of you up. Actually, I should have, but whatever. Too late now. Oh. No, it's not making those flies friendly to me. I can look at my cheat sheet in my phone. Cheat sheet. Oh god. Yeah, you can see these guys have the brain sticking out of the back of their head. That's normally the only way to damage them. But I've gotten piercing two runs in a row, so... Piercing is actually not that common. Yeah, I would assume not. Uh, second secret room? No. No, communist room! Secret room? Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Uh, it's a fortune telling machine. Earth got cancer. There are a lot of um. You're worshiping sh sun god. <laughs> There's a lot of in jokes in this as well in your fortunes. Follow the zebra. Uh, would you guys like to see what High Priestess does? Sure. sure. Oh. oh. Why? Um, if you are in a bot in a fight, it'll attack an enemy. Um, which in it's mostly just used in boss fights to tank to nuke them. Look at all these good trinkets that are. Now coming up, now that the game's almost over. Yeah, Alright, well, I don't care. We're gonna... No, we'll keep speed, because... The rusted key gives you a luck upgrade, but... We're in the last fight, so... What the hell? I'm using my magic finger. Was well, she trying to, like, punch through the wall? Oh no, those are just, they, they'll spawn enemies or shoot at you. Isaac was cornered. His mother, fueled with the desire to serve her god, was bearing down on Isaac. I will do as I told my lord. I love you above all else, Isaac's mother repeated to herself. This was the end of the line for Isaac. His mother was far too strong for him. But just as he accepted his fate, God intervened, sending an angel down from above to stop his mother's hand. And just like that, it was over. Anime, all of a sudden. <laughs> Alright, well, that was the first run in our new Binding of Isaac file. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good day.